What potential SCPs could we see in the future for Secret Lab? I think that's a question a lot of us think of from time to time. Especially due to updates like the Christmas or Halloween updates that give us SCPs such as the Christmas tree, the candy, or the skeleton. It's fun to speculate what we could see in the future. Of course, as the title suggests, today I will be speculating on what if SCP-035 was an SCP secret laboratory. To give a basic summary, SCP-035, or also known as the Possessive Mask, is a Keter class SCP. Basically, it's a comedy mask with a consciousness that is highly intelligent and it can corrupt people's minds, making them want to wear the mask and eventually, once a human or a human object wears the mask, the mask's conscious will take over the body. SCP-035 also exerts an unknown black substance which is highly corrosive and deadly, also very hard to clean, and the substance can also grow potentially tendrils. Now to start off, I think the question we need to be asking ourselves is, is SCP-035 really unique for both gameplay and atmosphere for SCP Secret Lab? To basically give a short answer, I think yes, absolutely. Although he may potentially share some similar traits with other SCPs that are currently in-game, his kit, I think, would most likely give a unique enough experience for gameplay and give way to more horror-like experiences in-game. Now, how would SCP-035 work in-game? Well, to start off, I think it's very important to mention that I think SCP-035 would have to be both an SCP item, but also a playable SCP. At the beginning of a round, I think that SCP-035 should spawn as a player inside Heavy Containment Zone. When it comes to health and Hume Shield, I think giving him a similar health pull to something like a zombie in this instance of SCP-049-2 makes the most sense because at the end of the day, 035 is basically just a human, so I don't see why he would have more than like 300 health really, more than like maybe 300 Hume. I think O35 should have a low health pool to compensate for the huge advantage he has when it comes to all of his abilities in his kit. So to start off, I think that O35 should have the ability to do anything a human class can do, which includes things like using weapons, using SCP items, which may have to be a rework, maybe some SCP items have different effects on O35, but I'm not going to really touch that right now, that's just a topic or a subject I think I should have to quickly mention. I think he should also be able to use experimental weapons, I think 035 should be able to use medkits to heal himself, and then I believe that SCP-035 should also have to use keycards to get anywhere, which would technically mean that this is the first and potentially only SCP where he just can't open checkpoints. He would have to have a keycard in order to open any doors, including checkpoints. Of course, you could also make it so when 035 uh, spawns like in-game, normally at the beginning of a round, he could maybe be already equipped with certain items so potentially and let's say he has it maybe a 50 50 or like a, a one in three chance of spawning as a guard an mtf i mean sorry a guard a scientist or a class d and depending on what class he spawns in maybe he has a different starting kit each time i mean so maybe a guard could have a gun a key card a, a guard key card specifically and a radio while the scientist maybe has a med kit a pills and a key, scientist key card and then maybe the d-class just has a janitor key card uh, a flashlight and an adrenaline something along those lines just so every time you spot player spawns at the beginning of a round as scp-035 he has a chance of maybe being you know you know just gives gives it like a bit of uh of rng of like what exactly you're going to spawn with i think that'd be kind of interesting and now to go along with the abilities, which, you know, as we, I've discussed, you know, obviously he can do anything a human class can do. But other than that, what special abilities could 035 have? I think it'd be interesting if SCP-035 could, in order to, you know, be lore accurate, give him an ability that manipulates a human player's visuals and audios, basically making them hallucinate for a period of time. In order to do this, I'm thinking it could be something similar to uh, any other AOE sorts of abilities that other SCPs have. So for instance, uh, the 939 with his uh, anesthetic gas ability and like the more you charge it up and hold it, the longer range it has. Basically maybe something like that similar for 035. So you have to charge it up and the longer you charge it up for the, you know, the bigger the cooldown, but give it more range. And I think this uh, AOE range should be way bigger than like 939's range for his, um, uh, his AOE ability. So basically it should be able to go through multiple rooms so uh, as like a, a really huge range and then after you charge it up it of course goes away after a certain amount of time however wherever 035 moves that aoe that he charged up it follows him wherever he goes 
So no matter where 035 is for the time that his ability is active before it goes through cooldown, uh, the AoE of his manipulation ability follows him. Not only would that be very interesting in my opinion, I think it would also give way for more uh, horror-like experiences, like I said in the beginning, and for you know the gameplay. Make it so once players start feeling the effects of the hallucination, which I should uh, say that I think these should be like really strong effects. I don't think it should be something like, ooh, you hear a couple of like a whisper, they some are whispers, and maybe, you know, y your, vis your vision gets slightly darkened or I, I don't know, slightly impaired. I think it should be very heavy, especially the more it's charged up, potentially the more effective it should be towards humans. I think it makes sense just because of how weak 035 technically is, just to help balancing it out. Another ability is to give hit 035 the ability to leave behind a corrosion effect somewhere, similar to maybe 173's poop ability. Having it put down maybe up to two or three of these corrosion puddles some across the map, and over time, as they, as it stays there, it starts to grow tendrils out, and then these tendrils will attack players that get near it. And after a certain amount of time, it'll despawn. This is kind of just to mimic 035's corrosion effect, I don't know if the corrosion itself should maybe have other effects, like maybe before the tendril spawn, and maybe if you go through, if you touch it and you go through it, maybe it makes you slower or maybe it makes you take damage. But however, I do think I'm very adamant about this whole tendril idea. I think it'll help not only 035, but also the SCP, SCP team in general, just to kind of have like an, like a way to like have area of like control, like an area to make it so maybe you could block off a hallway with this ten with the tendril so 035 pops down his corrosion and after a minute or two it finally grows out the tendril and eventually you know which is why i'm saying he shouldn't have multi like like a lot because it could be very op so that's why i'm saying two to three max that you can place at a time but basically kind of like have the scps be able to control the area like areas of the map i think would be pretty interesting kind of like changes up gameplay a bit over time so Let's say MTF are going in there to stop 035 and let's say 173. Well, now they have to worry about how they're going to get to them because they could kind of be, they could be hiding in heavy containment zone and using the tendrils as like a ways of blocking off the map and kind of forcing MTF into a specific route that they could potentially be easily ambushed in, which also makes them very predictable for the SCPs to, you know, hence ambush them. I think would be very interesting. It's an interesting idea. Another ability I think is pretty obvious is just give 035 the ability to talk to human players with an alt voice chat. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, although even if 035 were officially added by Northwood, I don't even think they'd do this just because for some reason Northwood does not like uh, alt chat for SCPs for, for to talk to humans, but you know, I thought I'd put the, uh, thought I'd still mention it at the very least. I also think 035 should have a passive ability that makes it so when a player spots 035 and a, they get hit with the jump scare cue, which is basically the sound effect that, and like the chase music that plays after you spot an SCP. So rather than it just being a scary like, ooh, spooky sound and now like some kind of spooky chase music, it should also still do that, but also immediately give the hallucination effect to the player that, you know, had the jump scare cue. Obviously, I don't think this hallucination effect should be as strong as like the ability version of it, so like a slightly like a, or not slightly but probably a heavily weakened version of it but just still something so like it starts they start hearing whispers in their uh headphones maybe their vision gets a bit messy as well just something to so it, it kind of goes along with 035's ability to kind of manipulate people's minds i think would make him very unique and once again kind of go along with the idea that he's adding in a lot more horror experiences and aspect horror like experiences to the game now for the uh last i guess ability and the most complicated one this is gonna this is like a huge paragraph here on my script so give me a second to thoroughly explain this when the player controlling scp-035 is killed the possessive mask is dropped like any normal item as well as of course the inventory of the player playing you know that had all you know whatever stuff he had in his inventory in 035 of course, you know, everything is dropped, including the mask, which is now an SCP item. SCP-035 can be held into, you know, a person's inventory, you know, just like an ordinary item or SCP item for that matter. However, while carrying the mask, the player will start to have visual and auditory hallucinations. And the longer the player holds on to SCP-035, the stronger these hallucinations get. 
eventually making the player forced to hold SCP-035 in their hands. So let's say they weren't holding anything at all, or they were holding their key card or their weapon out. All of a sudden, after a certain amount of time of having 035 in their, you know, inventory, eventually they just drop whatever they were holding, or if they weren't holding anything, you know, they just immediately start holding onto the mask and they start holding it in their, like, in front of them. Not only would this make the hallucinations go to their strongest point, but it gives the players an ultimatum. Get rid of the mask out of your inventory or be forced to wear it. I think in order to drop it, it should be really difficult, so the player has to kind of struggle and maybe they have to hold down like in a, like a button in order to fully drop the mask. And if they don't do this in time, they are automatically forced to equip the mask, making uh, them become SCP-035. Once this happens, I think the player that was currently playing as SCP-035 should be swapped into spectator and then a random person in spectator mode is then got uh, is then put into his place and he becomes SCP-035. This is kind of also to mimic the idea that 035 is a different consciousness. He's a different being taking over your body. Also, just as a side note, in case there is no spectator to swap out, then the player who's already playing as a normal person and was forcefully turned into 035 should just become 035 because you know obviously there's something you can do there. So that should like be you know something definitely coded into the game just so you don't have any weird loophole situations there. Alternatively, if no one picks up SCP-035 when he is just an item on the ground as an SCP item, 035 should still have the hallucination effects. Maybe it doesn't start right away, but after let's say a minute the last 035 instance died and the mask was then picked up, it should start to have an AOE effect around it that starts to make any players nearby hallucinate. And the longer it stays on the ground, the bigger the range gets. And eventually after, let's say a few minutes, just maybe let's say three to four minutes after it's on the ground and no one's picked it up, eventually anyone close enough will start to have a strong hallucination effect where the mask is specifically calling out to it and talking to that player. This should affect all human classes as well as instances of 049-2. The player, the players are then the players who are struck by this hallucination are then given a marker that they can see through the walls that kind of guide them towards SCP-035. And the closer you get, the more you're forced to walk towards it. So at the start, maybe you just see it and you hear the whispers in your in your, your head and whatnot. And like you're kind of like your camera's kind of tilted to the direction of the mask. You can still fight it and still move out of the way in order to avoid the the mask. However, the closer you are, eventually your control starts to dwindle. So let's say you're now you're closer to the mask and it's calling out to you. Now not only is your camera like forcefully kind of turning towards the mask, your player is also now forcefully walking towards the mask and eventually if a human class or an instance of 049-2 is unfortunate enough to, you know, get to, into grabbing range of, you know, picking it up, they are forced to pick it up and immediately they wear the mask. Once again, if a human class picks up the mask, they are swapped into spectator, a spectator takes control, and there are no spectators, in which case, obviously, the player just becomes SCP-035. However, I think that instances of 049-2 shouldn't swap over with the spectator. I think that, that sh they should just stay as the same player and the same player just becomes SCP-035 because you know obviously assuming that SCP-049-2 doesn't get reworked you know I think that's a, a saving grace right there because like nobody likes playing as 049-2 so you know why would you then force them to spectate or at least let them do something cool that's the, that's my idea at least I mean, I'm assuming they don't get reworked I think if let's say 049-2 maybe gets a huge rework and maybe now they're like god tier maybe maybe don't do that maybe just make them into spectator and do the swap and whatnot but you know I'm just talking, assuming that 049-2 just stays as the same stupid bo uh, bald baby that it is. So, yeah. But anyways, that's about it. That kind of wraps up my idea of how SCP-035 could be added into SCP Secret Lab. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had, uh, you know, a fun time just speculating on this and, you know, writing down my ideas and whatnot. Uh, you know, hopefully I'll make more videos about this of maybe other SCPs that, you know, just speculating on if and how they could be added to a secret lab i think it's a fun idea maybe i'll make this into like a semi-regular video series so you know i hope you enjoy and maybe look forward to future installments of this quote-unquote series that's about it though thank you all for tuning in thank you all for watching appreciate all the support 
I look forward to reading any comments that you guys may have regarding the video and, you know, just further speculation about the topic. But other than that, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching. Appreciate all the support and I'll talk to you all later. See ya.